Welcome to ReachX Podcast. Today we are with Robert Price, CEO of London-listed Highlands Natural Resources. Sir, welcome to the podcast. Gorhav, it's a pleasure to be here on ReachX. Thank you. Uh, explain to us, you are an independent upstart uh, based here in the state of Colorado in the United States, and you are listed in London. So for those who are not familiar with, that, uh, with your company, could you explain your philosophy to us? Yes, Gaurav. Um, I found at Highlands in 2015, I put $1,000 of my own money in, uh, and the philosophy at the time was to take advantage of the decline of oil prices. And Gorov, almost three years later, we did precisely that. We acquired technology, which is DT Ultravert. Uh, it's part of our well um, enhancement technology. We discovered nitrogen, and we have leases on a CO2 play in Arizona. Uh, we also acquired low-cost farm outs from um, a major oil and gas company and leases. That's our East Denver project, our West Denver project, and Montana. So we started to take advantage of the decline in oil prices, and again, Goroff, we did just that. Sir, explain what triggered the thinking about approaching the City of London and craving a London listed from your standpoint? Yes, I, I've been asked that question from time to time, and um, I've been investing in London-based companies for many years, and I'm certainly familiar with our oil and gas company peers. I formed Highlands in London for several reasons. In 2015, I was looking for opportunities worldwide. I believed that London was a good base. I've also made many friends and colleagues in London and wanted to build a company with them. I also love the city of London and its people. Thank you. Uh, in terms of how your corporate journey is panning out, how, how would you say two years since listing, how has it all panned out and what can we expect over the coming months? Yeah, well, Highlands is now generating revenue and it has high impact projects. And let me say, those projects, they don't happen overnight. It has truly been a journey of planning, strat strategizing and implementing these projects. We have facilitated and fostered relationship with many different companies. Um, some of them multi-billion dollar companies as far as farming in and obtaining investment from some of these very large companies. And so it is incumbent upon me to continue to foster those relationships and build upon Highlands. And Gorov, I will say the journey has just begun. Right, sir. And in, in, I know that Highlands Natural Resources is much more than just oil and gas, but from pure play oil perspective, you know, you cooperated, uh, you cooperated on, from an OFS perspective with the likes of Halliburton. You also have healthy relationships with the likes of Carnegie Phillips. So I think the, the pressing question here for some of the listeners would be, how do you get your product, i.e. The, the physical battles to market and what are your plans there? Well, that's a good question. Um, speaking about our East Denver project where we drilled uh, two of the most successful wells in the DJ Basin, and our peers are Anadarko, Noble, Extraction, some very large companies. And we were able to acquire the land, bring the financing in, and produce two of the best wells in the basin. Now, as far as getting the product to market, the oil's easy. We truck it to a refinery about 20 miles away. It's Suncor's refinery. Now, gas has been more of a challenge. Uh, we produce two to three million cubic feet a day just from our two wells. And we're getting ready to bring another six wells online here very shortly. While we awaited the pipeline construction, we constructed a refrigeration unit on site to strip out the liquids from the gas. This includes the propanes and the hextanes. We then um, combust the gas on location. Now, once all eight wells are flowing, the pipeline, natural gas pipeline, will be fully operational. Sir. Um, can, let, let me follow up on our, our other key project in Kansas. Um, how do you get that 
nitrogen to market. Well, what started as a, a, a project to make sure that we could commercialize our technology, DT Ultravert, has truly blossomed into something that could be transformational for Highlands. Our discovery of nitrogen produces 2.5 million cubic feet a day, which can supply much of the nitrogen needs for DT Ultravert. Now the industry pays about $10 an MCF or above for nitrogen. Our low cost supply could be a dis disruptive force in the nitrogen industry. Sure. And I think in terms of, in order to round, our dis uh, round up our discussion, we've had a chat about what you are across the board, but I think it'd be worth noting it for, for the sake of our listeners that Highlands Natural Resources, as the name suggests, is not just about oil and gas. So could, could you, in order to round up this discussion, give us a brief flavor of your portfolio? A absolutely. So we, we are a, a, a diversified company, and we have been able to take advantage of the shell plays in the U.S., and the shell plays are, are truly revolutionizing the world oil market right now. So we're generating revenue on our East Ember project. Our West Ember project, which we're in the process of leasing, we have over 3,500 acres right now. I believe that West Ember could generate, hopefully, more revenue than our East Ember project. In addition to that, we have our, um, our well enhancement portfolio of DT Ultravert. We have our nitrogen discovery, and we have 40, over 40,000 acres in Arizona which is on a CO2 field. We believe that this portfolio could help us leverage into other oil and gas projects. And again, the journey has just begun. And so we will continue to expose our shareholders to revenue generating projects and upside projects as well. Thank you very much for your time, sir. Gaurav, it's been a pleasure. Thank you.